This video was supposed to be a how-to on how to pair the Samsung Galaxy Gear with the LG Nexus 5, but I can't tell you how to do it because apparently after five hours, I can't do it. So I'm gonna send that to the more competent Joe Levi and hopefully he will be able to take you through that. Thankfully, we do have a backup plan brought to us by our good friends at FedEx. This is Pocket Now. I am Michael Fisher, and this is the AT&T version of the LG G Flex. Why don't we unbox it? So once again, everybody, my apologies for the mix up in the schedule. We will try and get the delayed video out as soon as we can. But for now, we thought we would take a look at this device. Now we have seen the G Flex before. In fact, we gave it a full review treatment several weeks back. We had the international version. We had so much time with it. We had several units actually, and we were able to generate a review rebuttals, review content, comparisons, other features. So the G Flex is very well covered at Pocket Now, but this one, is the AT&T version. This is built specifically for the American market. Michael Fisher, that's me, we can get rid of that. There's the AT&T Death Star logo, an indication that it's not for sale as well. And this is the, um, what we presume to be the final retail packaging. AT&T staying very, very consistent with its extremely minimalistic retail design. Let's flip it around to the back, and there's the G Flex there. No specs, no words, no nothing, just a picture of the phone. So. I just want to make clear as we're popping the box open here, we will not be doing a full review for this one. Uh, we, we checked out at CES, you know, this is just the, this is, this is just an Americanized G Flex is, is what we're looking at. So with the exception of that, uh, those special bands for LTE and the removal of the TV antenna, this is almost identical. Plus, you know, the, the carrier bloat where we've come to expect. Let's pop it out of the box here. Devices on top as usual. Ah been a little while. You may recall I liked the G Flex a lot. Feels really great to have it back in the studio here. Let's put the phone aside for a second to see what's inside. So no review forthcoming on this one folks, but we will give you a, uh, a like a wrap up in a few days. We'll let you know. We'll take it around town, see how it worked on 4G, and tell you what that was like. Here's your quick start guide, some safety information, and so on. This is a uh, micro USB cable. The wall charger, not, not gonna win any awards for looks, but not trying to, it's just a wall charger. Pop out the cardboard insert there and a uh, SIM card removal tool and no headphones. The headphones that ship with the G Flex, the international version, are some of my favorite ever. I think they're really well made. They're called Quad Beats by LG, but they're just really, really nice headphones and it appears uh, AT&T either didn't ask for those or something. So that's a real shame. We were anticipating another another set of those. So let's pop the device out of its sleeve here. Uh, I wish I was wrong on that, but it looks like, I mean, this is a genuine unboxing. We haven't been inside this thing and it looks like nobody else has either. So I don't think that's a mistake. I think that's a carrier modification. Uh, one, of those, one of those carrier decisions we're not entirely fans of. So that's a shame. Here's callouts for the various controls here. If you're not familiar with, a lot of people won't be, you know, they pop open this phone and be like, oh, what's this on the back? Oh, it's the volume controls. Volume up, volume down, power standby key. There's the uh, 13 megapixel camera with flash, the IR blaster there, and a little call out for the SIM card on the side. That's good. Pop it back around to the front and let's see if we can get a better angle for removing that screen protector. And we will reveal this six inch 720p display for the first time. Press and hold on the power standby button, we get the LG logo on the display, and we'll just take a quick look around the hardware here. Actually, as we come back around to the back, why don't we go ahead and pull this off of there, and we'll go ahead and pull off the serial numbers as well. And there's that, uh, that dust attractant back that we, we remember so well. There's a couple more protectors on the lens and the buttons there, but. We won't touch those right now. You'll remember this is the self-healing back that we subjected to such abuse in a previous video. This one, thankfully, in much, much better shape than that one that was uh, supplied by a retailer for us. We come back around to the front and we're greeted not by an LG uh, greeting screen or, a, or an Android screen, but by AT&T's ready to go service. So just so that you can see what you're looking at there. 
you know, maybe if you're a new smartphone user, this would be useful, but we're not gonna touch this at all. Just hit back, let's get out of this, please. I don't wanna be reminded later, I just wanna leave. No, I wanna go, let me out of here. Exit. And there's our Android setup showing, wow, maximum five out of five bars of service on AT&T LTE, NFC is enabled, and we're gonna set up the device. I said it already, folks, but our coverage on the G Flex is extensive at pocketnow.com and here on our channel page. Please go check it out. But before you go anywhere, please drop us a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below and stay tuned for our brief coverage on the AT&T G Flex. Once again, it won't be a full review. We've already done that, but we will give you an impression of what it's like to use this device on AT&T's 4G network in the northeastern United States. This has been Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. Follow us on social media so you don't miss more. And most importantly, thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.